So when we come around we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two, so it's in the second chain. Slip stitch and then do a chain and pull out your yarn. I've already cut this off. There we go. So going to the next page on our pattern it says turn the sides up making the wrong side of the sole facing you right side of the sole will now form the outer sole and the wrong side will be facing will be inside the shoe facing up so what that means is the good side is facing out because that is the bottom of our sole and you'll know what side is the good side because you'll have these ridges because we worked into the back loop and left these front ones vacant and then if you're like me all your ends will be on the inside if not it doesn't matter if they're not in the inside but you need to sew those in as well so what it says now is fold the booties so grabbing your booty and we're attaching the yarn at the the front of the shoe because we are working on the toe flap so looking at the bottom of your sole the wider part is the front the narrow part is the ankle so it says fold the booties and count back four stitches so folding it in half with your toe part on the left there so you're folding in half and it says count back four stitches on both sides to mark the center eight stitches using stitch markers so what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four. Put your hook in there. Get your stitch marker or your bit of yarn, doesn't matter what you use. And pull that through. And then it says do the same on the other side, so flipping around. So that's one, two, three, four. So then one, two, three, and four. And what you're doing is you're marking the eight stitches that's at the center of the toe because that's where you're going to be working the toe flap in here. So we've marked the centre 8 stitches at the toe side using stitch markers following the photo that we had at the top there and then work the toe flap into these 8 stitches as follows. So not to 3 months. With ankle side near you work only into the front loops on the toe side. So these is the toe because if you look at the bottom the wider part is there so this is the toe section so with ankle side near you work only into the front loops on the toe side the inner loops in this row slip stitch into mark stitch and single crochet into the same mark stitch single crochet into the next seven so we are going to put our hook into our stitch so we're joining our yarn in onto that mark stitch in the toe area is going that way so let me just make sure yep so our toe area is up this side going into that stitch grabbing your new yarn just looping it over the hook pulling through and just doing a slip stitch or a chain stitch to secure that onto there I'm just pulling down at the back and in this one we want to work in the front loops only so 
So one single crochet into the same mark stitch. So this is our mark stitch because it's got our stitch marker on it. Front loop only. So remember how we used the back loop in the other part? Well now we're just going to pick up the front loop. And we're going to work a single crochet and we're going to do this all the way around. So we're only working into the front loop. Sorry, just adjusting my camera. Picking up the front loop only. Single crocheting around and we're going until we get to the stitch marker. And that should give us eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it says work in both loops the rest of the rows. Rows two and three, we're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one and in the next eight stitches. So we're turning our work, chaining one, and working a single crochet into that same stitch. And then into every stitch across the row. And we need to have eight stitches all together. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know we need to go into this last one for our eight chain one. And row three is exactly the same. So it's going into the first stitch, single crochet, every stitch across. Can you hear that frog in the background? He's a noisy little thing. It's just rained here, so it's sending the frogs crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So row four says, so we're turning our work, row four says chain one. Two single crochets into the same stitch as the chain one, so going back into there, working a single crochet, working another single crochet, and it says it's an increase made because we've done two in the same stitch, one single crochet in, in each of the next six, so that's one, two, Three, four, five, and six. So that was actually our seventh stitch, even though because we did two in the first one. So then it says two single crochets in the last stitch. So going into this last stitch, working two into the same stitch. Row 5, chain 1, single crochet into the stitch as the chain 1, single crochet into the next 8 stitches and one single crochet into the last one. So we're just single crocheting all the way across till we get to the other end. So please rate and leave a comment on our videos that anybody that anybody makes a video, myself or anybody else. And don't forget to subscribe as well because there's plenty more videos coming up. My list is as long as my arm so I won't be stopping anytime soon. So we've just single crocheted all the way across. Should have 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And row 6, we chain 2. 
just turning it around half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the remaining stitches so wrapping your yarn half double crochet in the next stitch so not that one there because that's the same stitch going into that one there and half double crocheting all the way to the end And we should have 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, because that's your chain 2 is your first stitch. And fasten off with those scissors. I swear my scissors grow there. Aha, uh -huh. hiding in the pattern. So, Fastening off there. And it says switch your F hook to get a tight stitch. Turn the shoe inside out. Align the top toe and the sides, leaving the last row of half double crochet free and slip stitch the rest of the toe through the four stitches on the sides as shown in picture three. Use the same colour yarn. Do not do on both sides and turn the shoe right side out. So let's have a look at our picture. Number three, slip stitch the toe flat to the side on the wrong side. So we've turned it inside out and we're just slip stitching, folding the flap down, slip stitching it to the side of the booty there. So I think we can take our stitch markers out here of course we can because we're going to slip stitch down and we won't be using anything down there so grabbing those so it's inside out because I know that's my bad side because my little stick my little stragglers hanging about there So grabbing our yarn. We didn't have to really finish off there, did we really? Oh, it says to, so we did. So we're just going through the stitch on the edge of there and then Oh, so we leave this, sorry, leave the first one going into the next one because we're only slip stitching through four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So you're going to have to join that yarn back in. So doing a chain. And then we're slip stitching through this layer here and then the other layer at the back. So you're just pushing your hook all the way through and you're slip stitching that down so that I'm sure you could probably sew this part as well if you liked. Just going to turn it, make sure I've got it all. There's the, there it is. So I'm going to snip that off. Like I said, you could probably sew this if you wanted to. Not really going to make any difference. See, so, because you're leaving this row here vacant, that's why that's not stitched down there. 
So grabbing your yarn again. Drawing it in and we're just slip stitching through four stitches because we're leaving the last the last row. So we're not slip stitching that part down. And then it says to turn it right side out. It's looking cute, isn't it? So you should have the last row not attached there. So this is what we've got so far. You won't have your stitch markers in there. And you're going to fold your booty in half. And what you need to do is we need to mark 12 stitches in the center. So like we did before, this time we need 12. So we need to count back 6 stitches and put in a stitch marker. Flip it around. Count back 6 stitches and put in a stitch marker. So it should look something like this. So what we're going to do is attach our yarn because it says fold booties in half again and mark the centre 12 stitches on ankle side as seen in the pick one above. You'll be working a few decrease stitches between these markers. So we've, using your F hook we want to chain 25. So grabbing your yarn, making your slip knot. We're going to chain 25. And then we are going to slip stitch this part into the stitch right next to where the toe part joins the side of it there. So it's that stitch there. I'm going to slip stitch and then it says not to three months with your H hook one half double crochet in each stitch until the stitch marker. So I'm actually going to go into that one where I just slipped into until we get to our stitch marker. So here's our stitch marker. We want to work half double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So going into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you've got three, leaving those on your hook, going into the, yarning over, going into the next stitch. Yarning over, pull up a loop, you've got five loops. Yarning over, pulling through all of those loops. And we need to repeat that, so we need to go to the next stitch marker, one half double crochet in each stitch. Now this is take two for this part because the first part time I buggered it up. So even I have to read patterns properly and make mistakes. I am not perfect. So we're up to our stitch marker. And we're going to do our decrease. So into the stitch, pull up a loop, you've got three, yarning over into the next stitch, 
pull up a loop, you've got five, yarn over and pull through all of those stitches. And then half double crochet until you get to the stitch just before it starts to go up there, which is where our toe flap is. And it says chain one and slip stitch into the last stitch right under the toe flap. So I've chained one and I'm slip stitching into the stitch next to it. So it's just so it looks nice and neat, I think that part's four. So then it says chain 25 and it does say switch back to your F hook, but I'm not going to. I've just used the same hook three out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And fasten off leaving one and a half inches tail inch tail. You can wrap a half inch of cellar tape on the lace tips to prevent fraying. So where how much? One and a half, about there. Pulling out. It's starting to look cute, isn't it? So that little decrease there was just to keep it on the ankle at the back. So row two. To increase the height of the shoe on ankle side, mark the centre 10 stitches on ankle side. Using a H hook, slip stitch into the first marked stitch, single crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next six single crochet crochet in the next, slip stitch into the next marked stitch, fasten off. This round is a partial one, only worked on the ankle or heel side of the shoe. Ten stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry guys, I'm out of the screen there. So I've just counted back five stitches because it's saying to mark the centre ten stitches on the ankle side. One, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five. Where's that other stitch marker gone? Oh, that's still there. <laughs> So I'm just joining my yarn into my mark stitch and then we are going to work a single crochet into the next one half double crochet into the next six that's one two Three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the next and slip stitch into the mark stitch. and fasten off. And what that did there is see it just added that little bit at the back which is going to help grip the heel of the baby that's going to wear it. So 
that we can take our stitch markers out. So using colour C, I don't have a colour C, I'm just going to use the same colour I used there. Slip stitch around the opening starting from under the toe top as seen in the picture 3. Let's have a look at picture 3. There we go. So we start there, work our way around. And I'm pretty sure we go all the way around, don't we? Yes, we do. So, putting our so it's slip stitched across the top first, so starting over here. Grabbing all yarn, just joining it in there with a slip stitch. Well, it's actually a chain stitch. And we want to slip stitch around the opening starting from under the toe. When you reach the last stitch, slip stitch into it. Okay, so we just want to go all the way around the opening that we've got here. So just going into the stitch and working a slip stitch. And you're going to do this all the way around the opening your booty. Okay and it says when you get to the last stitch take the hook out of the loop insert from underneath so I'm inserting from the back of my work and then pulling through that loop and now we want to fasten off so just cutting our yarn and putting that piece through the loop just gives it a nicer finish so there we go now it just says using colour C and an F hook chain 34 tight like the money is seen in the picture and then just sew it onto the front here I'm going to leave a little bow off the front but you can add it if you like so thank you for watching the video you can find us on Facebook and Ravelry, share your ideas and your photos and also you can email them to me in the email in the description box below the video. Until next time, happy crochet.